welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial i will show you that how you can create this landscape parallax effect in powerpoint 2016 so this animation is basically inspired from one of the animation by flat pack fx at youtube let's have a look so he created this animation in After Effects and he has given the link of download file in the description and from here you can download those pictures of the first animation this one and he has not included this one however you can download these kind of files from the free pick website sorry here you can found thousand of vectors and PST files and you can look for the desired photos here in the search box so let's download the files first by clicking on the link and later you can add more elements to the presentation just like that I have added a train and I had created this video long ago and I will use this train toy train in the same presentation so here is the link of the, all of those four PNG files that the flat pack FX used in his animation. So here I will download this entire folder and for that right click on this folder and choose download. And it is in compressed format. So you, later you have to extract all those files. So once the download is complete open the download folder and here right click on the compressed file and choose extract to folder name and here you have all those four png files with the transparent background you will not see any white kind of background here so let's get started in the powerpoint and here I will choose a new presentation by clicking on the file menu new blank presentation and here collapse this thumbnail view so you have more space on the screen and change the layout to blank so first of all I will insert the clouds and for that go to the insert tab click pictures go to the download folder and open the parallax folder so first of all I will take the sky click insert and we need to move this sky to the left so if you will add the motion part to this picture and it will start moving to the left then you will start seeing the white background of the slide so what you have to do make a copy of this cloud by holding the control and shift keys and just drag and drop this picture right here and now make a group of both of these pictures by selecting both of them by holding the shift key and you need to click on this stop suggesting idea until I restart powerpoint because I don't want to see these design idea pan so I will click here so after grouping the picture go to the animations tab click add animation drop down button and choose more motion paths and here apply the left motion path hit the ok key and you have to adjust the path length and that will be exactly here when this cloud here meet right on the top of it, the previous one now set it to play with previous and add a duration and for the background pictures I will use a longer duration and for the foreground pictures I will use less duration time open the animation pan and open the effect option window by double clicking on the effect and here I don't need any smoothness and I want to repeat this effect until end of the slide hit the ok key now let's have a look so you have to set the path length of these pictures very carefully so when we make the loop of this animation by using until repeat until end of the slide 
so they don't make any flickering between the loop so it is only possible if you will make an exact path length of the motion path as you can see that this was the your first pictures that was our first picture and that is the second picture and again it will repeat the first picture from the beginning and here there should not any flickering between the loops and for that you have to set the motion paths very carefully now we will insert our second picture go to the insert tab click pictures and choose a second picture and we will choose bg that is for background click insert and make a duplicate of this picture by holding the control shift keys and just drag and drop it right here and now what you need to do click on the rotate drop down button and choose flip horizontally so this mountain match with this one so for these mountains you have to make one more copy and for that again hold down the control shift keys and just drag and drop it right here and again go to rotate and choose flip horizontally now make a group of all of these three pictures and again apply the motion path go to the animation tab add animation more motion paths left hit the ok key and now adjust the path length very carefully and that will end right here now adjust the animation option select it to start with previous and a duration of 15 seconds as i said before for the background picture the animation duration will be larger and for the front pictures it will be shorter like for the background picture i am using 20 seconds and for the foreground picture i am using 15 seconds and don't forget to remove this smoothness option and repeat until end of the slide so let's see the slideshow so as you can see that these pictures are moving across the slide and the path length should match exactly so there should no flickering between the loops now let's insert the third picture go to the insert picture and this time i am going to use this mg hit insert now make duplicate by holding ctrl shift key rotate flip horizontally make another copy rotate flip horizontally and then make a group of all these three pictures now the next step is easy and for that open the selection pen and select this one this picture mountain picture and now go to the animations tab let me hide this one mm -hmm this one so as you can see that group 11 is selected and here the animation is selected now click the animation painter and then click on this picture and now turn on this clouds and see the slideshow and let me adjust the timing and i will choose shorter duration for the third picture and that will be 10 seconds and rest is same for this animation as well And finally last picture insert picture this one make a duplicate rotate flip horizontally make one more duplicate rotate flip horizontally and then make a group of all these three pictures you can hide rest of the pictures so you can use the animation painter properly click the animations select this one so again i will use the animation painter and for that i will select the group 11 first click the animation painter and then click on this picture and then adjust the duration and for that i will use 8 seconds now let's see, see the preview so i think this is fine and later you can add more elements to this presentation and for that i will go to the kids toy train animation and from the description click on the download link
and then download this presentation here now open the presentation select the train and the track press ctrl c and go to your presentation and here paste it adjust the position and here you can also see this audio here and it is set to play with previous play after previous so you have to set it to play with previous and move it on the top and you can add a delay time like i would like to add one second delay for the sound and rest of these animations are from for the toy train and i don't want to repeat this audio so i will set it to none let's see the final preview so this is the endless loop here and i hope you will find this video informative and interesting let me know by leaving your valuable comments in the section below and don't forget to hit the like button and to share this video with your friends and you can also subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a great day